Over the years, we have made many improvements to the way we make big blue hammers. No change comes without detailed research and testing. We strive with each step to make a product that is better and more streamlined. Thus, we are pleased to introduce new Festo components into our air system, allowing us to increase quality and performance. In this video, we will give an overview of the Festo Filter Regulator Lubricator, or FRL, so that you have a firm grasp of its features and functions. The FRL on a utility hammer can serve several functions at once. It is in some ways the spot where we lump together the solution to many potential problems that any air system could face. The FRL is a junction for the hammer, providing the attachment on your airline end and then dealing that out to the larger hoses that give power to the hammer and the smaller hoses that help to control the hammer. The airline end on the back of the FRL is a half-inch national pipe thread, which you can attach to your shop air system using whatever method is best for your particular application. The other lines use quick disconnects to attach to the FRL. The first thing you come to as you look from right to left is the main shutoff valve. This quarter turn valve will allow you to shut off airflow to the hammer and remove all the air from the FRL for maintenance. However, the check valve in the FRL keeps this shutoff from bleeding the air out of the rest of the hammer. To bleed the air out of the hammer, as well as the FRL, you must also open the bleeder valve located at the far left of the FRL. The shutoff valve also serves the function of a lockout valve, as this valve can be locked in the closed position with a lockout tagout system or just the padlock to ensure that the hammer will not be turned on unless it is supposed to be. Simply slide out the blue locking tab and place a lock on it. Keeping oil in the air system will keep it running smooth for a long time, but if you over oil you run more risk of running the hammer dry at some point, which will lead to a lack of power and faster wear to the moving parts inside the hammer. It is best to check the oiler on a regular basis to make sure it is delivering the correct amount of oil and that the oil reservoir is full. The oiler is powered by the movement of air through the FRL. The amount of oil it introduces is adjusted by turning a small screw on the viewport on the oiler. Depending on the particular brand of air tool oil you use and its temperature, this setting may change. While you shouldn't have to do this week to week, you may want to check it between summer and winter. We like to adjust the oiler so that it delivers a droplet every 30 seconds to a minute. It is best to err on the side of caution and make sure the hammer is getting enough oil. If you notice your oil reservoir going dry more than every 50 to 100 hours of use, you may be using too much oil. You should inspect the oil reservoir daily, and if you notice it is low, simply turn the shutoff valve, release the latch, and remove the oil reservoir. You can use most any type of air tool oil to refill it, just make sure it is clean and fresh. The small passageways in the oiler can become clogged easily. The water separator will help keep the air system on the hammer dry and clean. In some situations, it will need to be drained multiple times per day, whereas on other days, it may almost never require maintenance. To drain it, you simply need to loosen the valve on the bottom of the water separator reservoir with the pressure still on the FRL and the water will be forced out. You can even attach a drain hose to this if you want. The air filter also catches the dirt, rust, or whatever else comes in through the airline and may need to be cleaned out from time to time. Take care of your equipment and you help it take care of you. Thanks and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.